Oh, it's right there! Go, go, go! I'm going to Africa in a lion costume. My wife left me. Literally, I can't even find her. She's so embarrassed right now. I love your costume. Thank you. What are you for Halloween? Actually, I'm an airport cleaner. Best airport costume ever. It's beautiful. 10 out of 10. First time to South Africa. It's good luck. Enjoy. Am I going to be They're going to love you. <laughs> Courage! Courage! Hey, yeah. somebody has to do it. Ah! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so hot, I'm dying. And I am like sweating profusely on a 17 hour flight. Ladies and gentlemen, our boarding door is now closed. We're staying right across from the airport. We used some of our credit card points to score this awesome room. First meal in South Africa. I'm all about it. We have bread, we have butter. I ordered pasta and french fries. Action! Cheesecake, homemade. Okay. I need to watch out because I stubbed my leg on this twice. It hurts so bad. Best part is that the airport's there. That way we can catch an early flight. We flew to Hoodspree, one of the three airports around the greater Kruger National Park. Water looks like Saudi and Chompers. We have arrived! Right off the plane, we had someone waiting for us. Nice to meet you, man. Julius, Corbin. So, Julius, do you mind being on camera? <laughs> you watch YouTube? I do watch YouTube. Are you subscribed to our channel? Uh, I will subscribe to your channel. You're gonna I'm gonna be, gonna be famous. You're gonna be famous. <laughs> we entered the Klaseri Private Nature Reserve, part of the Greater Kruger National Park. Our first zebras. I want to show you our room because it is amazing. Last time I was in Africa, I stayed in a tent with a bucket shower. Nothing wrong with that, but check this place out. I was so excited. This was luxury at its finest. This is our safari vehicle. We headed out on our first afternoon game drive and immediately saw tons of animals. There's a lion. Look straight. Oh yeah, let's get closer. Tongue of a lion is so rough. Eh? Sometimes when they can't eat the meat from the bones, they'll actually lick it off the bones. When a lion licks your face, they can actually lick your skin off. Our safari ranger Julius was prepared for any situation, including branches in the road. Some of you might be wondering where you go to the bathroom out here. You literally just get out of your safari vehicle, make sure you don't have lions or elephants or buffaloes, and you just pick a tree. I'm gonna pick that one. Julius is hooking it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Bunch of snacks. Can we get back in? Let's pick. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Let's grab our drinks and get out of here. Cold red. Not be coming this way. The lion's coming this way. Okay. <laughs> Put your phone down, honey. Hey, this is a memory you're always going to want to remember. I want to see a leopard so bad. We spent the rest of the evening looking for a leopard with no luck. Day two. Goal today is to see leopard. I think we're going to see a leopard. I got a good feeling about a leopard. A giraffe would be cool. These are southern giraffes. The animals in these parks are used to safari vehicles. They're part of their environment, so they get close. That's a lion print? Yeah. Great morning, we've seen elephant, kudu, buffalo. We're still on the lookout for that elusive leopard, the one animal I have never seen in Africa. Come on, bush gods. Oh my, he has a really good grip. It's a pretty big lizard. Look at this savanna monitor we found climbing around camp. It is time to go to the pool. My first pool in Africa. This is Jake. I'm a Canadian. Yes. Watch me enjoy myself in my habitat right now. <laughs> Elephants at the watering hole. So a lot of the lodges will have watering holes to attract the wildlife. I spotted a porcupine on our afternoon game drive. As a guide, Julius, would you give me an A plus for this sighting? Uh, I think so, yeah. It is that one. We saw termite mounds and more lions. This is the River Pride. The River Pride is waking up. It's made up of over 20 lions and they specialize in taking down elephants. 
Julius, what is your favorite lion fact? If you look below their eyes, you'll actually see they've got these white lines. The chest is quite bright. That actually helps them to reflect the light of the moon and the stars, and that way they can see better at night. The sun is setting, still on that lookout for the leopard. I'm ready to go on a trip. Hi. Ah, I was just looking Where? on that. Oh, Where? So oh my, look at that. Oh, what oh is that? Oh my God, that's the biggest thing I've ever seen oh. in my whole what, is that, what is, is this a camel spider? It's this. Yes. It's a camel spider. Can we pick it up? I don't want you to run over him. Come on, I need a right, stick. Run over him. Oh, 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 it's right there. Oh my, I just want to get him oh. up. They bite? They uh, can. They've got mandibles. Oh. God. I don't want to run him over they, or anything. They, 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 I do. Oh, it's right there. Go, get him, go, get him, get him. I'm getting back in the car. Get in the car, Hillary. Get in the car. <laughs> Everybody get in. Oh, that was so cool. After the camel spider scare, which I thought was cool, we spent the rest of the night looking for a leopard. I finally saw my first leopard in Africa. We also saw a hyena, which I absolutely love. We hear there's a leopard. On our final morning game drive, we saw another leopard. I honestly could not even believe it. There's something so magical about seeing a leopard in the bush. The white rhino, they actually have this huge muscle that supports that head because the head of the rhino is very heavy. It's about 500 kilograms. So they need that uh, muscle to support that neck. Actually doesn't allow the white rhino to lift the head very high up. White rhino, for instance, will not be able to do river crossings. It was now time to drop our Canadian friends off. That's really sad. Can I put some like really sad, like, uh, I will remember you. You know that song? <laughs> Some Sarah McLaughlin. Will you remember me? So our Canadian friends are gone. Another leopard. They're just pop, popping out everywhere. So this is the mother. This is the mother called Emanzi, uh, which means water. So she's scanning around for possible food leaving Camp George after two nights. I have to say I'm kind of sad. I had such a good time here. My wife and I absolutely loved it. If you are looking for a smaller camp, more of an intimate experience in a game reserve that is not as busy as some of the larger parks, I would highly recommend Camp George and the Classeri Game Reserve. The food was great. We also met some fantastic friends from Canada, which we kind of buddied up with. And it was so cool to share that safari experience with other people. I think a tip would be if you are going on safari be open to meeting new people now if you're a recluse and want to stay underneath a rock and not talk to anybody that's completely fine you do you boo but i encourage you to go and meet new friends and it actually makes the experience a lot better bye, bye. we will be back camp george yeah get it look at that look at the dance moves if you liked his dance moves comment below bye off to our next destination.